It is absolutely no secret that we love looking at the sun here on the Into Thin Air channel, not only for space weather related topics, but even for some of the coolest anomalies on the internet. I have a pretty cool video in store for you guys today with some brand new sightings we've made here, as well as looking back at a couple of the other amazing sightings that have been caught just over the last few months. And I also heard from a bird that there is a comet out there somewhere that is taking the news and internet by storm. We will touch base on that involving possibly one of the biggest meteor showers we may ever see in our lifetime. And although this is super cool, I don't want to take up too much of your time on this holiday weekend, so we're going to get this going right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> everybody welcome back it is may 29th 2022 we are just about to hit june 1st it is unreal how fast time is going by we are about to enter hurricane season and don't worry that topic will be covered in the next video but i've had more than a few requests to show some of these sightings past and present that we have found here on the channel and group them all together into one video if you guys remember you're looking at one right now as many of you might remember we dubbed this the sun zombie for obvious reasons this literally looks like a sun explosion that then took the shape of what looks like a zombie or an alien zombie. A lot of people like this picture. It got a lot of good attention in the community section post of the channel. And the reason I'm showing this first is because I want to get right into the good stuff. We found another one that just seems out of this world. Pun very much intended there. But as I was watching the sun for different filament, explosions, CMEs, you name it. These are cameras I watch on a daily basis and I could not help but notice this shape that began to form and then held place long enough as if it was sticking out out of the sun to get its picture taken and there was no way that I was gonna pass up the opportunity to, to take that picture and with a little enhancements and minor changes to the already existing image it, this quite literally looks like some sort of being or creature that is just forming or popping out of the sun I didn't know if my eyes were playing tricks on me or what but every time I looked at this picture over and over again I could not help to notice how perfect of a shape it took to look as if it's some sort of being or at least got lucky enough to catch this perfect image and absolutely not have to share this with you all. Now, let's not get too crazy here. I'm aware that the sun can make some very weird odd shapes when it has these explosions or these filaments, but to now have these two images side by side and with a little bit of imagination, this is very, very cool stuff. And please feel free to share these images, post them yourselves. If you want to give credit to the channel, that would be wonderful, but it's not just these sun filaments that were very cool. We've been catching things that quite literally look like shit shooting past the sun. But again, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I do want to show you some of the new ones I have captured over the past few days. And I'm very aware that some people out there believe these are just anomalies or camera glitches, but some of the detail that is captured in some of these what look to be streaking objects either next to the sun or shooting out of the sun are quite amazing to look at. In fact, in this new image right here, you can see that it is clearly not coming from the sun, but it is shooting up past the right side of the sun. I added the earth scale there just for some reference, even though we can't tell how close or far back these things are to really be able to use the earth as a tool. But nonetheless, these things capture my attention every time I see them. In fact, in this image right here, which I haven't shared with you yet, we can clearly see that it's either in front of the sun or being shot out of the sun. I tend to believe that these are separate objects that just happen to be caught with these certain filters of the SDO satellite cameras. And please take the time to go back and forward in this video so you can relook at these images because a lot of them have different shapes to them. In fact, this one has more of an elongated shape that could possibly be related to a cigar shape as the term used in the UFO community. And if we go ahead and compare it to one like this that actually went viral on the internet when we posted it back in March of this year, many UFO channels picked up on this and noticed the saucer shape to it. It almost looks as if it has lights around the edges. And again, to be clear, I'm not calling these specifically spaceships. I'm calling them anomalies that look very, very odd and out of place. In fact, here is another round one that went semi-viral on the internet that looks like a different angle of that same disc type shape with these little light anomalies around the edges. And you can see where the arrow is. It is actually on the left side of the sun as opposed to the cigar shaped one that looks as if it's coming from the sun or passing in front of it. Now, not just the SDO, but also the Lasco cameras. I seem to be catching these anomalies as well. As you saw on your screen right there, it flashed very quickly, but I 
I took a screenshot, and it's almost as if it has the shape of a bird or some sort of craft with wings and a back tail. Just a very odd anomaly to see on these cameras. Long story short, my friends, I just wanted to share these awesome images with you. I know some of you may have seen some of them in the past. As I said, some of these have actually gone viral in recent months, but the weird sun creature I'm dubbing it was definitely brand new. I wanted to bring that to your attention and compare it to the sun zombie. I know these are pretty wacky names, but I don't know how else to describe these things without at least having a little bit of fun with it. But with that fun comes a lot of research and a lot of detail and a lot of work, and I just hope you guys appreciate this type of material because I really enjoy producing it for you. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. I apologize for not talking too much about the comet. I'm kind of running out of time here. I have another job I have to go to, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. Special shout out to Canada. If you guys have any questions or concerns or want copies of these pictures, please feel free to email me. All my contact information is in the about me section of the YouTube channel. And you know how it goes, my friends. Utilize that comment section. Talk about these images. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any images like this that I will be glad to share on the channel because I can guarantee this won't be the first or last time we look at images like this. All right, everybody, that's all I got for you for today. I hope the rest of your holiday weekend goes well, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all, and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.